multi-messenger astrophysics is a relatively new field of investigation. Uh, it looks at light, gravity waves, uh, and particles as messengers carrying information to us from astrophysical processes. It began as a field in 2015 when the LIGO experiment made the Nobel Prize winning discovery of gravity waves. And from that point forward, we've been able to observe the universe with gravity waves in addition to the light waves that we've always been able to see with our eyes and our telescopes. Uh, one of the fascinating things we can do with gravitational wave is that we can uh, study, uh, of course, the interior of the sources. And one of the fascinating sources of, are the mergers of neutron star binaries. Uh, the two neutron stars must be spiraling around each other for millions of years and emitting gravitational wave. So because they are emitting gravitational waves, their orbit is shrinking and they are coming closer and closer. And after some time, they come so close, they merge and either they form a big a hypermassive neutron star or a small black hole at the end. Binary black hole mergers are exactly what they sound like. It's when you have two black holes that are spiraling around each other and eventually they will collide and create this larger black hole. And so this larger black hole will vibrate at different frequencies. And being able to understand these frequencies can tell us something about the mass and the spin of this black hole this remnant black hole. So my research focuses on studying what these parameters look like, and it's also a way for us to be able to test general relativity. So these gravitational waves from uh, merging black holes uh, are the main signal that LIGO uh, detects. Um, but to know what to look for, LIGO needs to have predictions from theory. Um, so to make predictions of what the gravitational waves from those merging black holes will look like, we need to use something called numerical relativity because general relativity is too hard to solve with pencil and paper alone. So we need to write big computer codes, run them on supercomputers, and uh, let the computers smash black holes into each other. And that gives us the predictions that we then hand to our friends in LIGO so they know what to look for. And they, they can use those templates that we predict to take their data and infer from that data what are the masses of the black holes, how are they spinning, and eventually try to figure out like where do these black holes come from. Blazars are relativistic uh, beams of high-energy plasma that emanate from supermassive black holes that are spinning at the centers of galaxies. Very long baseline interferometry, or VLBI for short, uh, is an observational technique uh, that we use to observe blazar jets. Uh, and the genius of VLBI is to use the rotation of the Earth as part of our telescope. So we can generate the most highly resolved images uh, of these relativistic black hole jets available to astronomy. So if you think about astronomy, it's inherently a two-dimensional discipline. We have images on the sky. Uh, and so in order to infer that third dimension, we need to run numerical simulations uh, of plasma flows from black hole jets. And so I work very specifically at the juncture between observational and theoretical astronomy, uh, trying to bridge the gap and generate synthetic images of these computer simulations so that we can make more direct comparisons uh, to the observations and get a better sense of the physics uh, behind these relativistic flows. It's really exciting to work in multi-messenger astrophysics because the universe is just so complex. It really is a vast and beautiful puzzle, but no single discipline has all the pieces to it. And so we all have to bring the information that we receive from our particular messengers and work in concert to put all those pieces together to see the whole picture. We look at a particular branch of neutrino physics uh, within the ensemble of these two experiments. So we're studying hypothesized of what we call sterile neutrino and uh, what we call also non-standard interactions. Uh, and they're just like an additional uh, piece of the framework to under like unlocking the mysteries of these neutrinos. It's another mathematical way of trying to describe their interactions. Being able to build these detectors that observe gravitational waves have pushed the technology so that we are able to get you know, very precise like lasers, very stable lasers, very good optics, and all of these you know, cutting edge technology uh, can really impact, like for example, the medical fields. 
And so in that sense, uh, this research really matters because in order to try to understand the universe that we live in, we're also bringing something back to society. The research environment here really is one of collaboration. That's the whole point of multi-messenger physics, is to use messengers from different directions, different sources. And we've got different people looking at those individual pieces, but then to come together and share that information to get a fuller picture of these incredible phenomena that we're studying is really exciting. I'm proud of the work that we do here. It's exciting to like see like students coming through doing this research and then seeing them getting excited, seeing that learning process. I'm proud of what my group is doing here uh, because it, we are uh, interested in knowing how the universe works and how its constituents work. So uh, with gravitation wave, we, we can de detect uh, uh, binaries of black holes, neutron stars, and their mixture. I'm proud of the work I do here because we are able to collaborate with people from all over the world and all over the United States. Um, it also, uh, here at the University of Mississippi, we have a lot of opportunities to go out and talk about our work, doing different outreach. So I think this is you know, a great community, especially for a graduate student, to be able to really expand uh, their horizons and try to get the most out of this experience. I'm fundamentally driven by trying to learn more about the universe. So that's, I think that's what we're doing here. That makes me proud of the work that we're doing.